The former Chancellor, Philip Hammond, says the government must risk unpopularity and tell some difficult home truths when Rishi Sunak unveils his budget next week. Lord Hammond says dealing with the pandemic has been the financial equivalent of fighting a war. The budget will take place next Wednesday against the backdrop of the biggest contraction of the economy on record. Our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, reports. A lonely welder where dozens should be. A firm eking out a shrunken workload to keep going. Covid's cost our health, but our country's finances too. And it's personal. Staff are distressed, depressed. There's just a real malaise setting in. Since this third lockdown has kicked in, our sales have dropped quite considerably. We're probably 35, 40 percent down from where we should be right now. We're the sort of company where we, we share the pain. So everyone has had to have their hours dropped. In this one county, more than 100,000 people are being paid temporarily by the taxpayer on furlough. Nearly 70,000 people are out of work. Doors closed, boats tied up. And there's another reason for hard times here. This oyster farm was told again and again they'd still be able to sell to the EU. But on this beach lies around quarter of a million pounds worth of shellfish they can't get across the channel. We're, we're not in a good position long term. If it's not viable, the people on the farm will lose their jobs. You know, I can't, I can't carry on subsidising a business that's set up on a business model that's not non-existent. The cash flow from those, those oysters sitting on the farm is pretty substantial. Ministers say they're trying to fix that specific problem, but pushing on has been hard graft. To stop the economy crashing through the floor, the government spent an almost unimaginable amount. There's no chance the government's going to suddenly strip away the emergency supports that's kept much of the economy going through these hard months. But the pandemic has ushered in big government and even bigger bills. The Tory Chancellor has become a big spender and faces historically difficult political choices about the purse strings. The economy is still so fragile. So how and when should the cost of COVID be confronted? The debt is likely to last for decades, but the former Chancellor reckons ministers have to start worrying about the cash day to day. My fear is that um, as a populist government, uh, giving money away is always easier than collecting it in and the government will be tempted not to move quickly. I'm not sure that the top leadership of the current government really has that appetite for being unpopular in order to do the right thing. And to do the right thing for the economy, the Prime Minister needs to be willing to be unpopular, you're saying? I think it, he's going to have to tell the British people some difficult home truths. In crisis, though, there is often opportunity. Years in the planning, the owners of this new Maidstone distillery turned their hand to something else. We actually ended up making hand sanitizer before we indeed actually made or were selling our first spirits. Someone did say to us, I think you're the first distillery in history, that the first thing to leave the doors was hand sanitizer and not gin, <laughs> you know? The Treasury says Rishi Sunak will be honest about the overdraft. New taxes on business to help pay back are in the mix. But in the main, expect the Chancellor to reassure on Wednesday. Big changes, impossible perhaps, until the hardship's gone. Laura Koonsberg, BBC News.